So let's hear from Fremont. We'll come to Central Region. Thank you very much. Um, Your Excellency, it is quite clear that Dr. Mahmoud Baumia is not the visionary for the current NPP administration. But as rightly admitted, you bear some collective responsibility for the outcomes of government efforts, either successes or failures. Mr. Vice President, can you state two failures of your current administration which you seek to correct? And how do you intend to do this differently should you become the president? Thank you. The question, what sort of, what failures that you think in this government that you would see to correct? Um, I was thinking a little bit about that. I don't know if, if I mean, for one, for one I, I, I think that um, I, I wish we had built in, for example, we had started the gold purchase program much earlier. Um, if we had started it in our first term of office, for example, the buffer in terms of gold reserves would have been much, much uh, bigger. As I said, a few years ago, we had 8.7 tons of gold, and I think so far we are almost uh, getting, they bought close to about 72 tons or so. So it's very, I mean, something that I wish when I sit back and look and I say, wow, I wish we had, we had been able to, to buy a bit more uh, and start uh, gold for oil and, and gold for reserves uh, much, much earlier. Um, but as I said, the crisis is what really made us to to get into these these policies. Um, of course, I also um, wish that we had, uh, even though we built more school infrastructure than any government, I believe that um, we've had, uh, still had challenges um, with the uh, senior high school in terms of infrastructure. Uh, and I wish we had completed a bit more in terms of the accommodation, dining hall, and so on. But this is one of the reasons why um, I want us to move a lot of the uh, government expenditure away from government to the private sector. This is a major policy that we are coming up with, that we want to engage the private sector in a lot of expenditure that government normally will put on the budget. And a lot of infrastructure is part of what government puts uh, on the budget in places like roads and, and you tend to see a lot of uncompleted buildings. But if you go to places like Legon or Tech, most of the accommodation, the hostels is provided by the private sector and all we do is rent it and pay. And I believe that we can have that model where the private sector is engaged to, to, to build a lot of infrastructure and we'll pay them um, uh, rent or lease it or whatever over time. So I believe that will give a lot of uh, fiscal space, but also allow us to complete all of these buildings and so on. But this is where I want to take um, uh, Ghana in the next session, that we should move more towards the private sector provision of a lot of this, and that will really bring down the fiscal burden on government in providing some of these.